Hello friends, this is Professor Sanjeev Divedi and on behalf of Vidya Lanka, I welcome you all. This session is for second year diploma student semester 3 for the branch CO, CM and IF. The purpose of this session is to introduce you to a subject, data structure. The prerequisite for the subject is PIC programming in C that you studied in your semester 2 first year syllabus. The future mapping for the subject is a subject data structure in your semester 3 engineering degree syllabus for comms and IT student. So as you can see, this is a core subject for comms and IT student and you find application of this subject in various streams of computer and IT engineering. Here, the syllabus for the subject is you have various topics known as stack, queue, linked list, graph, trees, searching and sorting. Let me introduce you to a small topic known as stack. In the sense, I'm going to introduce you a small you know, application of stack. How can we use stack in recursion? Stack, it's a data structure that works in leaf 4 fashion. Last in, first out. The element that enters into stack first will be the one that will be taken out last. The application of stack, well, we use stack. The stack is used in managing function calls in program. Stack is used for evaluation of expression. Stack is used for conversion of expression like infix to postfix, postfix, infix to prefix and similarly. We are going to see an example how stack can be used to implement the function call in recursion. As we know, recursion is a process where function repeatedly calls itself within its own body until a certain condition is met. So this is a small example of a function. We have a fact function that takes an integer value. If the, if the value of n is 0, it returns 1. Else, it returns n into fact of n minus 1, as we are aware of this function. Let us have an, uh, you know, tracing of this function call for value n equals to 3. Let us try to implement this. Well, we have x equal to fact 3. The value of n is 3, which is not 0, so it returns n into fact of n minus 1. So for n equal to 3, we have 3 into fact of 2. Now here n is 2, it returns 2 into fact of 1. Here 1 is 0, so it, uh, here n is 1, sorry. So it returns 1 into fact of 0. Now here value of n is 0. So as per the logic of the function, it returns 1. Fact 0 is called by function fact 1, which is called by fact 2, which is called by fact 3. So fact 0 will return 1 into 1 to fact 1, which will return 2 into 1 to fact 2, which will return 3 into 2, 6 to fact 3. Well, how this is actually implemented? We will have stack. Like you can see, it opens at one end. So the call, the first function call that goes, in, that goes into stack is fact of 3. It calls fact 2, it calls fact 1, calls fact 0, which like the way we have seen, returns 1, 2 and 6. So fact 3 was the first function call, fact 0 was the last function, but it was the first function to be executed and fact 3 was the last function call to be executed. Well, this is a small topic, recursion, how stack uses to solve this recursion. We'll have many interesting topics in data structure for complete syllabus and blissful learning. Do join our batches starting at various centers. Be sure with Vidya Lankar.